everybody, my name is Kaiza, and welcome to our first pack opening on this channel. Um, we are going to start with some of a little bit different stuff than what I said I was going to. Originally in my channel update, I said we were going to start with packs from the newest set, Guardians Rising. I went to Walgreens today and decided to pick up some extra packs, so I decided to do a video on this just to kind of like get our channel started. Plus, something came in the mail for me that I ordered that has to do with Pokemon. So I decided I would open that on video first. Okay, so I obviously ripped off... It's from eBay. I ordered something from eBay. I ripped off my postal co code because I don't want you guys stalking me. I don't know why any of you would want to stalk me. But just in case... Dear God, somebody take this like a motherfucker. So, we're just gonna throw that over there, and then, so I want to bid maybe about, uh, I'd say a week ago on that beautiful little card right there. A full art Lima, or Lalima, or however you pronounce him. Uh, this is actually a really nice casing as well, so I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. That's, that's in a hard case. Uh, damage-wise, there's like not- there's actually like no damage. It's on, There's a little damage right on that corner right there. I don't know if the camera will focus enough for you to see that, but there's a tiny little scratch in the corner. Otherwise, this card is almost in like perfect condition. I got it for like five dollars, so you know. I might keep it in this little hard case just because it's kind of cool. It's kind of different. So we'll put that off to the side on top of my computer for it just to stare at me for the rest of the time. And now that I have this nice little pile of tape to my right, um, I guess we'll start with this. I got one pack of Sun and Moon, uh, just, just because I was opening- I, I got a tin that I'm not really sure what comes in it. Uh, it just says three booster packs, it was ten dollars from Walgreens, so I was like, Incineroar! I love Incineroar. Incineroar is honestly like my favorite starter. My favorite new starter, you know, we, Mudkip is on is honestly my favorite starter ever. Too bad I'm not playing on my uh, Mudkip map. But, so, unfortunately, Decidueye is the cover art. Well, not unfortunately. So, I see that we're starting off strong here. Oh, no showing the code card. It is green, so we aren't going to get anything, unfortunately. I don't like that you can do that, but two. Three, is it four back? I think it's four back. But still, we got fire energy, a Pelipper, Repel, Corsola. Let's get this a little higher up here. Corsola, uh, I don't know. Dupiter, Poliwag, Paris, Jinchow, a Alolan Rattata. Ooh, a foil rainbow or reverse foil rainbow energy, and then a Cosmog. Or Cosmonium, whatever. But yeah. So that's not bad. That's a that's a nice little pull. We'll put that at, like, right there for you guys to look at. Just because it's shiny. Okay, so this was the big item I got that I wasn't 100% sure about. I don't know how old this tin is. I was going to look it up beforehand, but I figured that would take away from the surprise. Uh, it says that it can come with Gengar, Gyarados, or Machamp. Obviously, this one came with Machamp. Uh, I should have taken off the wrappers first, but you know... We're gonna struggle for a minute. Here's a nice little side picture of the three that you could get in this tin. It's not bad. Urgh. Ah, got it. All right. So I don't know how old these tins are. I don't know what kind of packs are gonna come in them. So let's just pop this lid right open here. It's a thinner packaging than what I'm used to. Like, it's thinner than what you find at like Walmart these days. I know Walgreens has a chance of having a lot of like older packs in it. So we'll take this little tin out. Ugh, pop Machamp out of there very carefully if we can help it. There we go. Oh, there we go. Without really dam- Did we damage the card too much? Surprisingly, no. We didn't really damage it all that much, which is pretty- how hard it 
just how long it takes. I will just set that right there. And then it looks like we get Fates Collide, we get a Breakpoint, and we get an Ancient Origin. So we have a chance at that Full Art Hoopa. I've pulled two of them in my pack pulling days, so we have three different packs. Um, sadly, this one's going out of rotation in September, I know that. Uh, this one's staying in as far as I'm aware, and this one's staying in as far as I'm aware, so I mean, we'll see what happens. Um, <coughs> since Ancient Origins is going out first, uh, we'll do that one first, just to kind of, I don't want to say get it out of the way, but kind of to get it out of the way. Okay, we'll pull this off. It is a white code card, I don't know if that matters in Ancient Origins, but that's there. One, two, three, I think it's three back, if I'm not mistaken. Gloom, always useful. Ace Trainer, always useful. Matang, not bad. Baltoy, Persian, a Magikarp, a Larvesta, a Spinarak, Reverse, Reverse Foil Quagsire, and our rare is a Full Art Vespa Queen. Not even the good Vespa Queen. Oh well. It's just, it's a small pack. It was going out of rotation anyway. Full art Hoopa would have been nice. I would have liked to give that to my boyfriend. He just got into the game and his Hoopa is not full art. So, oh well. Uh, Fates Collide, I guess we'll do that next because I put that next on the top of the packs here. This pack feels very easy to open. So, oh, let me block that code there. Because I do want the codes. I'll probably try to redeem the codes before I post this on YouTube or anything. So, three back. I see something. So, Weezing, last special, a Shuckle, Jigglypuff, a Ryolu, Bronzor, you can kinda see a little gold back there, it's probably a break, a Deerling, a Carbink with Safeguard, which is really good, a Lugia break, that ain't bad, that's not bad at all, and then we get a Snorlax. So we'll push this little Lugia break right up there for us. Just so it kind of sits there, mocks us. That's probably the only thing we're gonna get in this tin. Next, we're gonna do breakpoint and fail at opening it at all. Whatever, just take and pull. Pull. There we go. I see a red Atata right off the bat. Take the code card off of there. So one, two, three back. So we start off with a Great Ball, a Lapras, a Gibbite, or Gabite, another Ratatata. Didn't we start off with the Ratatata? No, that was the one that we saw at the top. Haha, <laughs> I'm dumb. Cricketot, we have a Shelter, we have a Drowsy, we have a Slowpoke, we have a Politoed, or a Poppitoed, and let's see if we get anything from the back. Uh, nope. Hypno. Oh well. We got a Ladio or a Lugia break. That's pretty good. For ten dollars, I mean, what's Lugia break even going for these days? Probably a five. Then we also have that Rainbow Energy and the Machamp that's almost in perfect condition, which I'm pretty happy about. I'll go into a collection for Furious Fists there. Uh, and then I mean, of course, the given Nima, but that's not that wasn't pulled, so that doesn't count. But yeah. So that was our first episode for the pack pulls. I will be opening two boxes of the newest uh, set of Pokemon Guardians Rising. I also will be opening a trainer box of Guardian Rising, giving a review kind of thing on that. Um, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, look forward to the boxes and everything. Go over and follow me on Facebook as Kaiser Gaming 17 to get more updates on when I'm going to be opening those packs and everything like that. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys when I open the next packs. Bye!